Hey guys, welcome back. Houston Math Prep here. In this video, we're going to talk about expected value. Expected value is the mean of a discrete probability distribution with quantitative values. So we can look at some notation here. Mu, which we know typically stands for mean, can also be expressed as E of X or the expected value of the random variable X. Now the way that that's calculated is with the sum of each random variable times its associated probability. So we'll take each random variable in the distribution, we'll multiply it by its probability, and then we'll add up all of those values. So let's take a look at an example of that. So let's say we have the distribution here for number of earthquakes. So we have three possible outcomes. There could be zero earthquakes, one earthquake, or two earthquakes. And we have the probability of each number of earthquakes happening. So 50% probability or 0 0.5 that there will be zero earthquakes, 40% or 0 0.4 of one earthquake, and 10% or 0 0.1 of two earthquakes. So if we were to find the expected value of the number of earthquakes, we would take each possible outcome, 0, 1, and 2, and we would multiply it by its associated probability. So that would be 0 times 0 0.5. We're going to add that to 1 times its probability, 0 0.4 plus 2 times its probability, 0 0.1. Doing that multiplication, 0 times 0 0.5 is 0, plus 1 times 0 0.4 is 0 0.4, plus 2 times 0 0.1 is 0 0.2. So adding those up, I get an expected value of 0 0.6 earthquakes. Now it's important to note that the expected value doesn't actually have to be something that is possible. So when we say we expect about 0.6 earthquakes in a discrete probability distribution we know that that's not possible. You either have zero earthquakes or you have one. You can't be somewhere in between. However, remember that expected value mean is an average. So if we averaged out the number of earthquakes over a very long period of time, we would say, meh, there are about 0 0.6. Sometimes we want to be able to calculate expected value when we aren't explicitly given the distribution. What we're given instead is enough information to create the distribution. So let's say that raffle tickets are sold for $5 each. Each ticket gives you a chance to win a new laptop valued at $1,000. What is the expected value of the game if 100 raffle tickets are sold? Okay, so let's say you're buying one raffle ticket to try to win this laptop. What is the expected value of this game? Well, the first thing we need to think of is the outcomes. Okay, what are our possible outcomes? Well, there are really two, right? We can win the laptop or we can not win the laptop, right? You either win or you don't. Let's think about the probability of each of those. Well, if there are 100 raffle tickets sold and you bought one of them, then your chances of winning are one out of 100. So your raffle ticket has a 1 in 100 chance of being chosen. You have a 99 out of 100 percent chance, or 99 percent chance there, of not winning. There are 99 other tickets that could be chosen other than yours. And the third thing we need to think about is the payout. 
So what is the payout if we win or we don't win? Let's start with if we don't win. If we don't win, then what happened? Well, we lost the $5 that we spent on the raffle ticket. So we have a payout of negative $5. If we do win, then we have a new laptop valued at $1,000 minus the $5 that we paid for our raffle ticket. So we have a payout of positive $995. So now to calculate our expected value, we would take, in this case, each payout times its probability. So let's see, we have a payout of $995 and we have a one in 100 probability for that. Plus we have a payout of negative $5 and for that one, we have a 99 out of 100 probability. So multiplying 99, $995 times one over 100 gives me $9.95. Plus multiplying negative $5 times 99 over 100 gives me negative $4.95. So adding those up, that gives me a total of $5. So my expected value for playing this game is $5, a positive expected value. Now, think about this again. Our expected value is not actually a possible scenario. There are only two scenarios. You either win the laptop and you are up $995, or you do not win the laptop and you are out the $5 that you paid in for your raffle ticket. So our expected value of gaining $5 is not a possibility, but it is the average overall, or the expected value of the game overall. All right, guys, that does it for this video. We'll catch you in the next one.